guys. In today's video, I'm going to be playing my version of Nissa OTK that I think is just way more fun, and I think there's a lot more avenues to victory. It's not so linear. It's not so easy to play around. Um, not saying that it's better than the other version, but I think this one's a lot more fun, and your opponent has a lot more things to worry about. But before I get into the, the deck, I just wanted to thank everyone that supports the channel. I think I'm seven subs away from 1k, which is super insane. I remember uh, joking to like my friends and stuff about getting to 1k before the year was up when I started in um, you know mid-August, and I'm like a week shy of that insane, not even like a real goal. I was just like talking nonsense pretty much, so uh, it's been really crazy. So uh, into the deck now. So classic uh, Nis OTK runs the Hasten like we are, and the Strahd. And then they just run a bunch of draw cards to facilitate that, like uh, Centaur and a um, bunch of stuff like that. But I like running decks that have more than one win con. And I don't like how susceptible this is to Resilient Sphere. I understand that um, you run this to disarm your opponent's traps and then do the combo anyway. But um, I'm just not a one win con kind of guy. So the typical land they use is also the one that heals you for two at the start of the game. And then you can get an empty mana gem. Or empty, um, yeah, empty mana gem. I get ramps you, but it doesn't give you the mana for the turn. Uh, I'm running this instead because you can draw, and so um, I find it useful to help you, you know, draw the combo pieces. Um, you know, thinning out your deck is just really powerful. So, um, I mean, I could totally see it be being the healing land against like a lot of aggressive decks, but I was just testing this out, and so far I like it, you know, pretty decently. So we run Birds of Paradise because it ramps us. We run uh, Scion of Ashia, Ashia, whatever. Uh, one drop, one, one trample, war debut. Uh, spend all your mana, gets plus one, plus one for each mana unspent, or each mana spent. So um, late game, this becomes absolutely ginormous and it has trample and ward. So unless they have a ward wipe or emulating glare or something like that, they're probably just gonna die. Or demonic edict for whatever it's worth. Um, you know, Hasten uh, gives uh, Strahd uh, haste and Strahd makes it to where uh, both players health is 10 and he's a flyer so a flying with haste that does 10 seems pretty good so um, if your opponent doesn't have a trap or a flyer to block this they just lose the game which is the classic combo I took out um, one of these elvish archers right before the video um, because I wanted to make room for one of these which I'm very glad I did and you'll see why um, I just wanted a way of um, disarming the traps and getting through because Teferi is so so prevalent Ramber Growth helps us ramp. One Elvis Archer is just a blocker early. Tusker because it's a stat stick early. Grudge Match because we have to answer opposing flyers so that way Strahd can get through for lethal. Then we have um, Jorga Druid, 3 drop, 3 4. Uh, after you, you get a mana gem that's not from your land, draw a card. So anytime you ramp outside of your normal land progression, you draw a card. Pretty good when you're trying to find combos. Uh, have a fun of <laughs> a fun of I'll actually kind of like that uh, clone uh, four drop one one transforms into a copy of a friendly creature so you can make another one of these which is the old Jace combo so you can do 16 in the air that way and in the game all of a sudden you could copy a nip mizzet and just do two every time you draw you could um, let's see even copying Titans not bad um, but yeah, that's the main thing, clone with uh, a Chroma, just to uh, have another way of closing the game that your opponent may not expect. Uh, Spear Crown Stag, 4 drop, 3, 4 debut, fight an enemy creature. Again, can remove enemy flyer flying blockers. Uh, you know, um, thins out the board again if you're against something aggressive. Sylvan Shrine, 4 drop artifact, 2 charges, activate, get an empty mana gem, because we're trying to ramp, because we need to be at least at 12 mana to hasten and Strahd, which is, you know, good far away. I'm running this for lols. Uh, six drop, six four, gold knight harbinger flying debut, double the power of each creature in your deck. So again, that could be an alternate win con because your tusker is now a two drop, eight three. Um, if you play that and then you acroma, that's 16. And then if you did at clone as well, um, further down the line, then that's 32. Uh, Primeval Titan, six drop, six six, debut attack, gaining into mana gem, so helps us ramp. Really gets uh, druid jarring you a bunch of cards. And then also uh, shrine into titan is really strong. Nib Mizzet is just another way of drawing cards since we're in a combo deck. It's a flyer, so it's already pretty good. And then you can burn your opponent out potentially when you draw cards. So sort of like another win con. And then a Chroma, 9 drop, 8-8, eight, eight, uh, flying trample armor haste. Copying it with clone, making it twice as big with Gold Knight Harbinger is fairly strong. Uh, Primal Summoning is my new favorite card for this archetype. 
uh, nine cost spell, draw four cards, the next creature you, you play this turn costs two less. So this allows you to do the combo with 11 mana instead because you can primal summoning, play this for zero, and then hasten. So if your opponent is, uh, they're, they think they're safe because you know, you're only going to be at 11 next turn. Well, now they're in trouble uh, because Primal Summoning can get it done even faster. Uh, Crusher Worms, 9 drop, 6-6 six, six debut, summon two copies of this creature, another alternate win con, and then we've already been over what Straw does. So, actually, I think there might have been a turn in the video where I could have killed them sooner if I had Primal Summoning into Strahd, into Hasten. Um, maybe could have, but I probably wouldn't have worked because I was playing around things. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, thank you for the support, and let's get into it. Okay, so here we go with the mirror match for the video. It happens too often. Hopefully we're both not trying to play combo Nissa, but if we are, we uh, go. their deck's probably just better. Mine's more goofy. Yep. Alright, so Nissa combo. Um, I'm going to keep... Primeval Titan. Okay. I will not go easy on you. Ready or not, here we go. <sighs> what are the odds of this garbage? <laughs> Listen to nature. Are they playing the combo? Why would they dilute the combo? I guess we'll see. I'm gonna play Druid into uh, Rampant Growth so I can get an extra draw. Naturally. Rouse the beast within. <laughs> I am going to attack and then try and get a trade so they can't grudge match this. Okay, there's one piece of the combo already. Yep. The wild has your back. And I can go uh, four and a six. Yeah, figured. I know there's nothing with haste, so... I'm not opposed to trying to get some uh, beatdown going with this curve I have here. It's gonna be hard for them to keep up with my titans, though. Okay, we're kind of doing things in reverse here. I'm gonna get a lot of draws, too. I'm probably not gonna swing with this. Just because I would like to draw as many times as I can. Hopefully they don't have something silly like a giant growth. Okay. That's good in case there's some shenanigans. I put that in as a one of right before the video started because all the Teferi <laughs> running around. Pretty good. Are they actually going to get two draws from this too? Yep. Seems pretty good. I need to draw some flyers. I'll take the draw, I guess. This is two draws, but summoning this is already a draw, and I can kind of catch up with my... Um, catch up with mana. <laughs> huh. 
Okay. I could also play this, um, not now, but next turn, just to have a flying blocker. Alright, let's do it. Might even be, I might be able to start some kind of beat down as well. Before they get there. If they don't already have everything they need. Well, there's one of my combos. One of my combo pieces. Um, clone would be useful. Good. So they're running just the classic OTK. I'm running the goofy fun one. Okay. Okay, so they're looking for it. I might be able to niv mizzet uh, full. Oh no, no, they're gonna have day of judgment too. So I need to just, yeah, just do this to have a flying blocker. Oh, I'm so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I attack now, I'm going to overdraw, but I have everything I need. I have it next turn, so I need to keep the grudge match. So I have everything I need, so... I'm about to overdraw a ton here. It's okay though. This had better be worth my time. They can't answer oh no, now they can't answer this and do the combo. Because they ramped so high. Man, that's scary. I still have twelve cards left though. If I play this one, two, three, four, five, six. 9, 10. I could get another draw. The wild has your back. I am not alone. <laughs> Hopefully they can't answer my flyer and do the combo. Oops, too many cards. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to draw earlier than this. <laughs> Oops, too many cards. Okay. Oops, too many cards. Of course they have a flyer too. I gotta try this way as well. And I already have everything I need, so I don't see a reason to not swing here. Because they're gonna be in danger of just actually dying if they don't do the combo. Alright, so I guess we'll see if they have it. Mm -mm -mm. Do you have the combo and a way to get rid of my flyer? No. Excellent. Pick your poison. Okay, they're gonna hit my Niv Mizzet with Plummet. Okay. A temporary setback. Man, I'm one mana short of being able to hasten. Okay, they have a reach and this anyway. way for me to do this. I've got a flyer here. So I wouldn't mind playing this and then uh, cragging that. I think that's how I do this. I'm not flubbing this, right? They, I mean, they have two things that can block my guy. So. Must not delay. 
And I don't want really to use primal summoning and overdraw that much. I'm already going to draw a bunch from this. So, let's see. I gotta dodge it for one more turn. I can grudge match the 3 6 next turn and do the combo. Yeah. Bullseye! Hopefully they just day a judgment. They have to have the combo and something to kill this again. Which I don't think they're gonna have. Definitely not now. Day of judgment. You got a day of judgment not to die now, right? No day of judgment. Okay, I can still grudge match that. So, we win. That's wild. gonna do the combo well we got the mirror match I mean this is just my goofy version that I find more fun but you know we got the win so I'll take it sorry if there was any humming in the first game guys my there was a bad thunderstorm uh, a few nights ago and um, when I woke up the next day my heater wasn't working for my house so I checked the um, the breaker and everything and it was fine so hopefully it's something minor but I had a little like portable space heater in here so if you saw and heard any humming the first game that's what that was I didn't think it was loud enough for the mic to pick it up but it was so apologies for that if you heard it um yeah I'll keep it just because I have druid um so I'm just gonna try and get to a point where it's I fun. can uh, disarm all the traps you know and then do the combo but um don't know if that's really possible right now <laughs> when teferi is good it makes so many things not playable like i'm a big fan of teferi i like teferi but i could see them reverting him back to one draw because it's just kind of kind of silly there's no rush i'm gonna play this next turn before it can get absorbed so i can get a ho hopefully a bunch of passive draws and something to contest this I already have one of the pieces, so I'm going to try and make a board state that he has to Day of Judgment, and then I can combo. Or disarm in a combo. Don't hit a combo. If that hits Hasten, bro. This is, is this Maniac? Is this Dweeb running Maniac? I'll play this first in case I draw something else to ramp with. Not quite. I think he's running Maniac, man. I can't believe that. I mean, why would he be running this many? It's because he's running Alarm Bell. Because he's running a man. He's because he's running Maniac. Ugh. It's gross. Okay, next turn I have Titan that I'm just gonna slam probably. I see no reason to do anything. Okay, for a second I thought it was like call the wind. I was like, come on man, I, I passed to a call the wind. Okay. 
Now I could try this. Yeah, I thought he might try and hold on to Absorbs if he had them for later. Cool. Next turn I'm going to draw at least three times, as long as Druid stays alive. Okay. Guess again or negate? Negate, okay. Feels like home. I can also get to a really high mana and do this, but um That is sick nasty. Leave this forest. Well maybe they'll mess up and I'll be in for a quickie. space so no reason to take the four damage when I'm just gonna sack stuff off anyway oh also close to being just two turns away ooh ooh this had better be worth my time tell him Thought I got guess again for a moment there. Doesn't matter what your health is at if I get my way. I have to make sure I don't um, discard uh, or mill the one that um, disarms the traps, right? Let's see, I have four, nine. I have to apply pressure so he tries to day a judgment me. Hold on. Let's have a brain. Yeah. I don't know why he's even holding up negates before I could do my combo. Like, he just wants to not have the answers for it, I guess. School of the Wizard would actually be a really cool thing to play instead of clone, probably. Might slow down the combo a bit, but um, I guess the only spells I have is Primal Summoning, though. Let's see if I can force this out. The wild has your back. I am not alone. It's alive, yeah. I think they might have to change it's alive to every uh, two unspent mana. It gets a upgrade instead of one because one's kind of cray cray. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and apply pressure, and yeah, that's fine. I can mitigate all that damage. So he's gonna have absorb up now that I'm gonna be at 12, probably. So do I want to swing with um, with old boy here? I don't think so. could try and do this and see if it gets negated and if it doesn't then I can strad that's really funny actually let's see four five six seven I 
Ah, I drew it anyway. <laughs> too many cards. Okay, so maybe I should just wait till next turn. Well, it's not in the gate. Could it be the the guess again? Oh, it could be glare as well. Let's just attack. I have literally everything now. Um, I just need like two turns to do everything I could I ever want. How okay. The next creature. I, oh, the next creature I play costs zero. I should have done this into it and seen if it was there. Oh wait, no, no, no. If I do this now, now I can do everything. I can do everything next turn. Yeah, there's no way that's not like a glare, right? Because it, it wasn't absorbed. There's no way he left himself open to get comboed, unless he just didn't have it. But he's already in trouble just from my board, so... He didn't have it! He didn't have it. Wow. Well, you better have a flyer. He's attacking because he has Day of Judgment. Yep. Maybe this deck's pretty good. I missed. So, two, ten, two. I only have three cards left? Man, I've been tearing through it. I can see everything from up here. You have my attention. I am nothing if not fair. Hey, the deck worked exactly how I wanted it to work. Let's go. I like that. Big fan. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And I will see you guys tomorrow.